Hi, this is Drew Brashler. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get X control by Behringer hooked up to your Behringer X32 mixer. Now, the reason that we would want to do this is uh, so you can go ahead and title and change the color and symbols of all of your channels um, and your mix groups and everything like that. So I've gone went ahead and done this for a lot of these, uh, a lot of the things on here as you can see. Okay, so basically what we need is we need a PC uh, with the X Control install. Uh, you can download that off of Behringer, uh, Behringer's website. Uh, and then we need a router with the X32 connected to that via a uh, Cat5 cable. Uh, and you'd need that computer that you have X Control installed on to be the same network as the mixer. Uh, so we're going to go up here to our uh, to our screen and we're going to go navigate to the buttons on the right hand side and press setup. And so you will see a couple different tabs and we're going to go over to the one that says network. So we'll use the page select button right here to tab over to network. Okay, and this is where we're able to uh, name the IP address of the router. Um, so right now we have it on 192.168.0. whatever. Uh, in, in my case, this is dot 100. The subnet mask, this needs to be matching to your router. Uh, kind of the default thing for uh, most routers is 255.255.0. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go up to 255. 255.255.0. We're going to go ahead and press assign uh, by pressing this button here. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, use this uh, rotary knob right here to go down and select the gateway. This needs to be the IP address of your router. So in my case, it is 192. 192. 168. That zero dot one. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and press this assign button. So now, uh, just to kind of go over this again, the IP address is the IP address of this mixer here. Uh, the subnet mask needs to match uh, the subnet of your router, and then the gateway needs to match what your router is. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and press home again, and so now the rest of the stuff we get to do over on the computer. And so now we're going to go over to my computer. We're going to go ahead and double click into X control. That's going to pop up this. And so what right here, we need to go ahead and specify the IP address of the mixer. And so in my case, it was 192.168.0.100. So we're going to go ahead and change that. Press enter. There it is. So it says disconnected. So basically all we have to do is press connect. Okay, and now uh, the sync direction, this is kind of important. We can either sync the program here to the console um, to save the settings that you had inside the program uh, to the console, or you can sync the program, this, to what the console is currently set up, in which case I would like to do uh, copy all the stuff from the console to the computer right now. So we're going to go ahead and select console to PC, and we're going to press synchronize. And that's going to go through here, and you'll see all the little channels at the bottom synchronizing to what they currently are on the mixer. Now, X Control is still in a beta uh, right now. Um, they're going to be doing a lot more um, programming on this program. It still has a few little bugs that they're working out, but it's not even close to a release yet. I think it's point. Uh, version 0.5 so version 0 0.5 right now and so once that is all done we can go ahead and um, click home and now we can see that whenever I'm talking uh, you can see levels here and uh, you can actually go through and see all of the all of the things that you have on the mixer um, and then when you go and move a knob you can actually see that knob that uh, that fader move on the mixer as well which I'll try and do here so we're gonna see that not that fader at the very end going up and down very good so this was a little tutorial on how to do that if you guys have any questions feel free to ask thank you